Hey boo, how are you all? Um, I just got home from work, well, maybe like an hour or so ago. Um, I was talking with two co-workers. Um, they're older than me, older women. Um, one, I, I always know when something's not okay with her, even though she tries to deny it or whatever. But anyway, we, um, we're closing the store, we're leaving, and she just broke down crying upset you know telling me what was going on with her and um so okay i was like okay first of all it's okay for us to get upset it's okay for us to cry as children of god as single parents as women it is okay for us to have those moments when we have to cry because although we're those things we're still human we're still gonna have emotions. Let me turn it down. But um, it's okay to do that. And so I was telling her, she was like, things just keep piling on, it just keeps going, it just keeps going. But I have to do this, I have to do that. I just wanna be happy, I just wanna be happy, I just wanna be happy. That's all she kept saying. I understand. I was there. Everything was up against me. I was tired of waking up feeling sad, whatever. I just wanted to be happy, genuinely happy. I told her, you have to take care of yourself. It's okay if so-and-so, you owe so-and-so money and they're calling you. Stressing out about that is not gonna make the money come. That's not gonna make them stop calling you. That's not gonna change the fact that you owe them money. You can't stress about those things. Okay, you wanna help so-and-so, but you can't. Stressing about it isn't gonna help them. You have to help yourself before you can help others. You have to find that happiness for you before you can try to find it for others. She was saying um, just all these things. She talks to God. She's like, I know it sounds bad, but I'm in my car and people are looking at me and I'm just talking and I'm yelling and I'm crying and I'm upset. So I said, okay, feel those emotions. Don't bottle them up. Don't try to stop yourself. If you feel like you need to cry, cry. Do not stop yourself. That's just gonna make it worse. If you're feeling the emotion, Feeling and emotion, allow yourself to feel it. Don't stop it. I told her, when you're talking to God, even though he sees and he hears and he knows, he knows what's going on with you. You talk to him, you say, God, look. Okay, don't say God, look. But just say, God, okay, um, bills are piling up. Work is crazy. They're not treating me right. Um, my family, this, this, that, and that. Let him know how you feel. Let him know how you feel. And when you do it, um, he's going to make a way. He's going to send the comforter. The Holy Spirit is going to comfort you. Every time I talk to God, it's just this crazy peace that comes over me. That's the Holy Spirit. I told her, I said, you got, because she was a manager. I said, you guys don't know this, but coming to work in the morning, there were two women in the back who always give me a hard time. They were rude to me. They were cursed at me. They would treat me so bad. I told her, I said, I came, I will come to work 20 minutes before I'm scheduled to come, I would sit myself in that car. I would pray to God about the situation. I know I can't quit my job. I know I can't leave because I need to provide for my son. So I prayed to God, God, I don't know what's going to happen. I can't leave, but I'm not happy. This is not good for me. This is not okay. So I just, I would pray. I would get calm and I would be okay. And I asked God to change something in me so that I can help make the situation better. So I will go into work, go in early in the morning, those same women, whatever. Then things start to change. And then all of a sudden, my position in the company changed. I don't even have to deal with those women no more. I didn't tell my managers what was going on about that. That was God. God made the way. Okay? And I was telling her, I said, things may look one way. This might be happening. God's going to make a way. He's not going to allow you to just be upset and suffer. For time and time and I told her the things that she's going through they're just not for her this just isn't for you this is for your kids to see how strong you are this is for you to be able to be a testimony and be a witness to someone else in their life I said I know it's hard you might not understand it a lot of things that God does we don't understand but we just have to pray and ask for him to help us understand it or help us to learn to be okay with it Cause we're, we can't we can't possibly understand God it's just don't even, don't even sit don't stop right there don't try to figure it out don't 
it's just too beyond us. It's too beyond our human minds that we could even try to figure out. So I was just trying to encourage her and the other women, the other woman that was there, she was going through something too. And I was just, and I'm like, I'm 23 years old. These women are like in their forties and their fifties. And I have a testimony that can be a witness to them. I can somehow encourage them. And it's not me, it's God. And I was saying this earlier on Twitter, um, the things that we go through aren't for us. It's so that we can reach out and show someone else what God has done for us. If he did it for me, he can do it for you. That's what I told her. I said, if he did it for me, he made that way for me. And look how simple that was. And look how fast he did it. He did that for me. He's going to do that for you. You just have to keep your faith. You have to keep trusting him. You have to rely on him. Let him know, God, I depend solely on you. If you take away this job, I just need you. It don't matter what these people say. I just need you. I don't care who stays, who goes. I just need you. You know what I mean? So I'm praying for her because I knew that something was... Anyway, I'm not talking about her or anything, but be encouraged. When you're going up against things, God knows what you can handle. If it seems like a lot of things are coming at you, if it seems like the enemy is attacking you at full throttle, understand the devil does not attack nobodies. He does not attack people that he knows he can get. The devil is only trying to get children of God. He's only trying to hurt people that God loves. So if the enemy is attacking you, you better put your chest out like, I'm wanted. I'm that great. I'm that much of a threat. He's trying to do everything he can to make me turn to the other side. Because if I'm giving this much to God, he knows I would be giving that for him. He wants that. He can't have that. Okay? So understand that. When the enemy's coming at you like that, it's because you're great. And if God is throwing a lot of things at you at once, it's because he's strengthening you. Okay? He knows what you can handle. And we are so much stronger than what we know. We are so much powerful than what we know. It's crazy. It's crazy. You, you just got to look at it that way. If God is giving you this much, that means you're this, that much more powerful, that much more stronger than what you really think you are. That's a compliment. God is trusting you with these things so that you can build them up and use them, turn them around and build up his kingdom. We have to think that way. We cannot allow the devil to um, get us to thinking that it's something negative. It might be hard. God never said it was going to be easy. It might be hard, but we're going to get through it. If we got through this situation, we're going to get through this one. And we're going to get through the ones to come. You guys really have to be encouraged. This is time. Uh, and I know people say this all the time, but these are the times that Christians, we need to stand up. We need to stand out. We need to encourage each other. We need to be there for each other. We need to stop judging. Okay? We don't know what God is asking someone to walk through. We have no right to judge the situation that we're in. We just need to be there for them and encourage them. How are you going to get the faith? The faith doesn't come by the pain. The faith comes by hearing of the word. Get yourself in a Bible. Get yourself in a Bible study class. Get yourself around someone that can minister to you in some type of way. That We need this. This is vital. This is vital. Gosh. Yeah, so I just... I just had to make this video. I know it's like 11.40 at night. I didn't even eat, eat dinner yet because I was just so moved by this. And as I was speaking, I was just like, God, that's you. That's you, God. Yes, this, this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Gosh, people. Okay, this video is like super long, but I just had to. Um, if you love someone, please tell them I love you all. Please stay encouraged. Please, please, please. Stay encouraged. Remain faithful. If God can't trust you to have the faith when you're going through problems, how is he going to trust you when everything is great? Keep your faith. Love you. Bye.